Hey guys, this is Michael from EAK Crew Productions, and today I'm bringing you a dual video. I guess I'm using my heraldics here. Oh, that's right, this is heraldics versus Dark World. So, I decided to uh, voice over this duel because it took 27 minutes. Nobody wants to sit down for a 27 minute video that's one round. <laughs> Or at least I wouldn't, so I'm not going to try to play you guys through that or anyone else who's going to just watch this video because that's that is absolutely ridiculous. But uh, anyways, early on he um, was able to pitch a graph up, but he didn't bring it out to the field. I had the reborn, so I decided I'd take control of that. And here he goes, making me get rid of one of the best cards in the deck, and then he goes ahead and makes me do it again with Compulse. He just draws an onslaught, and here I should have MST'd. I thought about it, but I was like, nah. And I'm glad I didn't, cause you'll see later. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. And now the Ambicrom way was the discard, but I have no idea why he attacked Grafa. It was so weird. And then, and then he was all like, oh, it's not that. But I, so I guess what happened was he was attempting to attack my other monster, and he was. You know, being one of those kids who are like, oh, attack, 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 attack. Well, uh, while I was thinking, so he accidentally attacked Rafa, even though he didn't mean to. But I get rid of that. And I set the Reborn, um, because I know that that's totally going to be a Morphing Jar. Like, it, it was so, so obvious. <laughs> um, so I set that, and then he goes for Gates. And this is one of the reasons why I was happy that I set that MST and I didn't activate it. Because I let him banish, and then I hit it so that he doesn't get to draw a card and discard uh, one from his hand. But he has dealings anyways. <laughs> so he gets the nuts out with two Graffas, and I was thinking about negating, but then I was like, nah. I asked him if he had a normal summon, he said no, which he hadn't, which, which pretty much just meant that if I negated it, he would have just summoned one of those guys and got it back. But luckily for me, the match didn't end right there because he tried to go for the Heplo and I just ended up negating. But I mean, he still ends up with a Grapha and uh, morphing on the field. And here I am looking over some of my XYZ options because I do have the Heraldic Reborn. So I could go for lo any level 4 right now. Except for. Um, Except for Plover, because I don't have any wins in my hand, which was what I was thinking about as I did this. I was like, oh man, I misplayed. I should have kept I should have kept uh, a wind in my hand, but it's alright. I end up making the card that pretty much wins me the game right here. Um, I make it to Jin. And he tried to compulse, but luckily I have the Lance still. Well, watch that. He had two compulses. So... He decided to get rid of my Utopia so I could install, but you're about to just see some really just some shenanigans of how I win this match. <laughs> like, if I was him, I'd probably be so bad. Like, I'm sure he really was raging because I after the match I checked to see if he was online and he was not. I wanted to say good game to him, you know, but uh, nah, he was too furious. He rage quit. Like, he just like punched his computer monitor. <laughs> <laughs> but um here he goes just getting out a bunch of freaking monsters on the field he goes for the levy air play so he can have a full board and uh he deta i detach both for the the gen and then he destroys that hair heraldic i can't really remember his name but when it's destroyed after damage calculation it, it destroys the monster that attacked it and then i banish eagle and reattach to to my Dijin, and like, that is so busted, like, the thing is, it has to have no materials on it at all, so it's not like the craziest thing in the world, but in this certain situation, it just helped so much, I thought it was so funny, because it, it gave me another stall turn, um, to where he just couldn't get over me, and I just thought it was hilarious. And right now on the field, that was me checking to see if I was even recording. So he, right there, he tried to get smart with me by by putting it like that. And here I, I moved it to attack position, but you'll see that I decided now nah, I wanted it in defense position. 
but I decided to use my effect to set his morphing jar face down so that we can both draw some better cards. But uh, at this point, I said, man, I gotta deck this guy. <laughs> so I set his morphing jar, summon my Leo, attack his face down, and flip his morphing jar. And this is where he was, you know, uh, I don't know what he was thinking or what he was doing, but he left for just half, half a second there. But he eventually comes back, flips the morphing jar. I'm thinking about calling an admin because, like, this is times 3.5 speed, so, like, he was gone for like three minutes. Um, and I was able to just draw into like all the traps in my deck and get Leo's effect off, which is just amazing. <laughs> uh, and I still have uh, my guy set up fully. And boom, he goes for the Shockmaster, and I'm able to torrential the whole field, which, thank God. Um, and he goes for that, but I'm telling him on the summon, I'm actually bottomlessing him. So he adds the card back to his hand. Um, and this is where I thought it was just going to be over, but no, no. He keeps playing stuff, and I, I had already pre-clicked the snow, so it was me telling him, no, 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 not snow. And I do believe I picked beige. Here I am, I just check his uh, graveyard real quick. And, um, you know, Bay shouldn't actually be on the field yet, but. So what would actually happen? We both discard, then Bay special summons, and then on the special summon, I bottomless. And then, because I discarded a Leo, I get to search with Leo's effect. And so right now, it's his 8 cards in deck to my 11 cards in deck, and he uses Foolish, which brings him down to 7. And then he uses. Mmm. And. I was like, damn, roar, you know, but I just draw even more hate. So at this point, I'm just sitting and I'm just like, wow, man, I've got just all the answers in the world. And then, <laughs> this is when I removed the third eagle, I do believe. And I think it's at this point he rage quits or, or very soon. Oh, okay, so he flips that and I'm trying to tell him that, you know, he can't get rid of eagle with the thing because the banishing of the eagle was the cost like you know it's already gone like, you know and he's like oh all right all right but he still gets the special summon and everything so you know that's perfect for him he has this big old board but i have this may stroke that's still got all this defensive power i just set an end and i believe this is where he quit so i'll see you guys later that's michael from eak crew productions heraldic stun <laughs>